There we are. It is a corridor with another door. Now it's not saying how long the corridor it is or anything like that. So we're just gonna go with uh, walls. Let's make it like a two length corridor. And it just said it had another door. So, okay, we'll make it another door at the end. Bingo. It is a corridor. So we're not going to roll for monsters. We're not gonna roll for treasure. But we are gonna come up here and open this door. So let us roll to see if that door is open, shut, locked, or whatever. Oh, well, no, come on. I'll go with a three. It's locked. <laughs> if it rolls exactly the same, I'm not just going to take that. Because that's just the online thingy not working all that well. So we've got to burn another torch. I, the random number generator not being all that random. That's what I meant to say. So we're down to another thingy. We burned a torch to open up that door. So now, now we find out what kind of room we have from a corridor. Roll a d6. And with a six, open from corridor, it is a staircase with a door in the end. That's just the one way down? And it leads directly down again. Uh, I gotta be the GM here. I don't like that thing. And the idea behind all this is you're trying to have fun. So we're gonna roll again on that one. And with a five, we have a large room with two other doors. I can deal with that. So let's make a large room and we will add two other doors to it. Put one, well, once again, why not? We'll put one here, put one here. This being a room, we need to roll for room contents and then monsters. So let us once again, roll for room contents, 2d6, that is a nine. And a nine is a torture bed, may have a secret I was going to say palace, but that's passage. We'll put that up here again. S. Very, very good. Okay, just a room with boring stuff in it. So let's roll for monster. When I say boring stuff in it, I mean, you know, the person who was tortured to death on the various beds and all that probably didn't find it boring. But let us roll to see what monsters we find then. And with an eight, no monsters. Well, how about that? Let's actually, let us search. I'm gonna search. So let us search. Which means we come to the secret passage table, roll a d6. And on a d6, if we come up with a two, there's nothing here. Alrighty then. Can I edit that S? And we'll make it into an X because we searched it. It happens. Alrighty then. Uh, no monsters, no treasure. Let's open up this door right here. So let's go to like door stuff so it'll get away from the text thing. And then we're going to roll to see what the door is. And at three, it's locked. So we burn another torch. Alrighty then. Let us take a look first and see it is from a room, correct? Correct. So, we are going to roll a d6. Find out what room is on the other side. And with a six, that is... It really wants me to have a staircase with a door in the end. No. A one. That is a small room with another door. Okay, that one I'll actually go with. We're gonna actually, a small room, we're gonna go like this, but it does have another door. So let's put a door on there. We'll put it right across, nah, just because it would be annoying. We're gonna put the door over there. Bingo, let us now roll for contents and then monsters. So contents first, 2d6, a nine. Torture bed may have a secret passage again. Huh. Okay. 
we'll put that up here as well. May have secret passage. Okay. So let's roll to see what monsters there are. Four. And with a four, there are two orcs. Oh boy. Oh boy. These are... Well, I forgot to write down the what the place is. It uh, could be the same place. Uh, with different name. It's a different named place. <laughs> okay, monster. These are two orcs. Boy, that's great. And they do... Oh, God. They do three damage. Notes? Well, you can loot them. That's good. And they both have... 6 HP. I still have 16. And they both have 6. Ah, I forgot. Gotta do this. Bingo. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Well, I am going to start off this nightmarish thing that's going to happen. I do a D6 of damage. I've already said if it rolls the same thing, I'm not going to accept that. Okay, five. Well, that one's got one. So I didn't kill it. And they both do three points of damage each. I'm down to ten. Because they do six damage. Oh, boy. I, well, I'm going to kill at least the one. So that one's gone. I did manage to take that one out. Which means I take three. I'm down to seven. Oy vey. Okay. Well, let's roll for damage again. Five. I mean, that's good. But it still hits me for three because I didn't kill it. That takes me down to four. I'm going to do at least one. So this round, it's dead. I told you the game is brutal. <laughs> Let us roll for treasure. And on a three for treasure, or loot, because this is loot, on a three, four or less, you found one coin. All right, to bring it back to page 22, bring up the character sheet. We found one coin. And I've only got four hit points left. Unfortunately, that's not gonna change. I mean, I can leave the dungeon and I can spend one coin to heal. But then I gotta fight my way back through here again. I'm gonna do it though. I am going to leave the dungeon. I am going to. I don't. I've got one coin. And I will be down to. I can't really afford to leave the dungeon. When I leave and come back, I'll have to burn a torch immediately, which would bring me down to five torches. That's better than going into all of this with just four hit points, though. So we're going to go to five torches. Come on now. Oh, for the love of pizza. Five torches. Zero coins. <sighs> but I'm back up to 16 hit points. There. There. The orcs are dead, so that's good. And I'm back up to full hit points, but that means we are back here. And I have to roll for monsters again. But I'm at full hit points. So let us roll and see if any monsters are in this room. 2d6, it's a 10, and in a 10, There are three fungoid. They each have four hit points. They do two damage, loot, and they regenerate. When they regenerate, when you get a roll on the damage roll, it recovers six hit points. 
Come on now. Back to 22. Might as well write down how we're going to die. There are, where is it? Three fungoid. They do two damage. Well, do they? Uh, yeah, loot and regenerate. And they have, where is fungoids again? Four hit points each. Four, four, four. Well, I'll start the attack. I do a d6. Three. Oh, goody. Because they do two, which is two, four, six. I'm down to ten already. I do at least one damage. This one's down. They retaliate with four because there are two of them alive. That leaves me at six. I do my damage. And then I take four points of damage, which leaves me with two. If I don't do at least three points of damage, I'm going to die instantly. Okay. That one's dead. Which means I take two. And I'm dead. So quickly rolling up a new character <laughs> that just happens to be exactly the same as my previous two characters who has no coins and uh, nine torches. So this is the third character in the past four, 35 minutes going down into this dungeon. So let's just uh, start again. Okay, so we have a wall, but actually that's going to be a door. So let's mark a door. Then we're going to check the lock on this door. Actually, I didn't even have to go to that page. Well, actually I did because I needed to go to this because we're checking and it is locked. Of course, it is locked. I mean, of course, I have to burn another torch immediately. Okay. Well, from here, as you remember, we now have to figure out which segment it is, and we are opening from a staircase. So we roll a d6, and it is a four, a corridor, with two other doors. That is a fairly common theme here. So we're going to make a corridor. Where are we? Walls, there we are, rectangular room. Corridor, and it has two other doors. Put one there, and one there. Alrighty then. And since it's a corridor, we're not going to roll for room contents or monsters. I figure those things are just neutral in Note Quest. So, we're going to go into this door on the side, which means, once again, we have to check the door. Come on now. With a six, it is unlocked. Very good. So, we now check the room contents. And that is opening from a corridor. We roll a d6. With a d6, we have a five, and that is a large room with two other doors. So let us draw a large room with two other doors. And we'll put this door like here and here. Bingo. Now let us roll for room contents, which is 2d6. And with a 10, 
stack of coffins may have a secret passage. Okay. Let's put the old S up here in the corner for a possible secret passage. Now we will check for monsters. Roll a 2d6. We get a 7. And a 7 is no monsters. So what the heck? We're going to roll on the secret passage table. So another d6. And it's a... Of course it's a 1. So it's trapped. Because of course. So i got to burn another torch. We're down to 7. My house rule is you burn a torch and it sets the trap off. You don't have to burn a torch at every single door. You only have to burn a torch when there's a trap. So, okay. That was special. What was I doing? How did I do that? Oh, it was... What did I do? What was the trap? Did I... It activated a trap. Right? I've lost my mind. Okay, it activates a trap. So, but then I unlocked, I disarmed the trap because my mind is functional. Okay, that was searching for the secret passage. No secret passage, no monsters. We're going to open up this door right here. So, I have to check the door. And with a two, it's locked. So, I burn another torch. I haven't gotten two doors, and I've gone through almost half of my torches. I have no money to buy new ones. So now, but that was a two on the, which part of the thing? What part did I just do? That was checking a door, right? Yes. Right? Yes. I just checked that door. I am losing my mind, my sincere apologies. I love having a severe ADHD. Okay, let us roll then for room contents. And for room contents, we roll a 2d6 and that's a 10. And on a 10, stack of coffins may have... I didn't check the door type, room type. That's what the problem was. And it's from a room, so d6. Whew, I do have brain, I promise. But still, that is a large room with pillars. Okay. So we're just going to make a large room. Tokens. Not the kind of tokens that I would be thinking of. Shapes? Okay, circle. Uh, here, just boom, 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 boom. Four pillars, no rooms, uh, no doors. Okay. That's fine. And it's a, may have a secret passage. Okay, we're gonna put an S in there because again, you know, might as well check. Now I did check this and now, so that's a, that was done because it's a trap. Might as well check for monsters now. So let us roll and see what we find. A 10. On the monster's table. Yeah, okay. I mean, we're going to die again. We are going to die again. Because they are three fungoids, four HP each. Let's see just how badly this goes. I am upset at the dice today. I roll a six. Actually, that takes out the first one. They still do four to me. So that's 12. I do damage. That's bad because they still do four. So I do my damage. No. Four. That takes that one out. Still does two damage to me. So I roll. And it does two damage. 
Psy attack. And it's gone. Once again, unfortunately, I now have four hit points again. But this time, I don't even have any coins to go and buy new torches. I forgot that I had the freeze ray, though. Well, let's go until we die, because we're going to die horribly. We come back down here, and we're going to check this door. So we roll for the door, and it's open. That's fine. That's dandy. Let us roll the 2d6. Well, the 1d6 for the room type, it is a 3 opening from a room three is a medium-sized room and a medium-sized room I figure is about that big no other doors or any such thing inside of that contents let us roll 2d6 an 8 a large cell with bones on all sides how sweet let us roll to see if there are monsters. With a five, there is one orc. Six HP, three damage, loot. That was, that was six, six HP. Six HP. Three damage. Unless I can kill it in one shot. It's down to two. It does three points of damage, leaving me at one. Can I take it out? Come on. Two. Zero. I killed it. I have one hit point left. It has loot. With a four, I find one coin. I don't have enough to do anything but buy torches back in town. So you know what? We're going to go back to town. We're going to buy torches. I can't heal. I don't have any money to heal. So we come back to this corridor and we enter this room and we roll for monsters. 2d6 and on a 6, 1d6 goblins, 3 HP, 1 damage. Uh, I die again. <laughs> I just wanted to show everybody, you don't need to have a table, you don't need to have physical dice, you don't need a piece of paper, you don't need a pencil, you don't even need a physical rule book. I have just played several quick games of NoQuest, went by really, really quick, and it was all on desktop, all with the online stuff except for my local version of the extended quest rules. And if you just want to play NoQuest, you actually don't even have to pay a money, any, any money at all. I, I can speak English, I promise. Because all of this, the extended, the extended quest is two bucks. No quest is free. And every other thing here that I've used, the dice roller is free. This mapper is free. This is just word pad. This is just notepad. And using this and the free I can't even remember what this thing is, what the, uh, it's Foxit PDF Reader. It wouldn't have cost me a penny, and here it all is. So, thumbs up on that. Thank you very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. Next time, we're going to do a different game, hopefully something like Treasure Quest. So, we shall, we shall see. I, again, I can speak English, I promise you. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very good thing.